Well, the Wind Finder website <clears throat> said the wind was going to pick up right at dusk. And uh, <laughs> it's picking up. Like I said, if you play, what the heck? If you play catch and release. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I'm in a really, really rocky area. And he's coming right into the rocks. <laughs> uh oh. gained on this at all and uh he might fool me all right what do we got here i'm putting more drag on him now back this way. I got to find out what you are. The only problem is I got a boat over here and a couple pilings. Man, we got to see what this is. I got a mono leader on when he came up. <clears throat> I got a glimpse of a tail that looked like some kind of a uh, hard tail, like a shark. Whatever it is, he's winning the he's winning the battle here. So I'm down when my rings on my reel looks like he's got about almost two thirds of my spool out. I don't want them going to my left. Come on. Wow, he is way out there. I can feel every stroke of his tail too. I'm wondering if it's like a big drum.
I can get about a yard of line here or there on him. And then he takes it right back. Oh, or more. Oh, come on. Don't spool me. So today I brought number two with me. And it's the same rig as number one. A Pin Fierce 2500. 20 pound uh, braid line. 30 pound mono leader. And I'm using a three inch swim shed Berkeley and Fire Tiger color. And I got something on today. Making a he's getting ready to make another run. I can feel him. He swims a while and then he quickens up his tail beats. Maybe he ain't got much left in him. I sure hope so, because I ain't got much left in me. <laughs> Come to daddy. All right, I got to decide where I want to try to land him. All of this area is solid rocks. drag I hate to but uh, I want to tire him out before he tires me out now it's time to get serious with him before he makes another run which he's getting ready to coming right at me don't don't get in them rocks dang it there's a lot of rocks oh lord I see him there's less rocks over here But there's a barnacle pole over here somewhere I gotta try to remember. You know what it looks like? It looks like a giant Jack Crevel with a big forked tail and a big round head. I feel I'm getting down in the rocks. That would explain them, uh, them giant runs. Come 
Come on, give it up. I'm gonna release you. Don't wear yourself out to the point where you die. over here somewhere where's he at I don't want him over there See right over here, I know there's a there's a darn pole with barnacles all over it that's right below the surface. And he wants to be right here by it. Okay, I'm starting to win. Back this way. Nope, nope, nope. Bye, bye. Stay out that pole. Oh, it's got to be right around there somewhere. That's what it is. I'll be damned. <laughs> I ain't, don't catch him this damn big offshore. Look at the size of this thing. We oh, ain't hooked good. Hooked right in the lip of the mouth. Come over here. Holy moly! <laughs> no, I ain't gonna believe this. I gotta lay him down over here to get some. <clears throat> get a measurement on him. Look at the size of this thing. Come right out. So that's the pole with the, with the ruler. See what we got there. So we're 30 inches to there. Forty inches. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna release you. So down here in Port Sulphur in my honey hole, fishing off the bank, 40 inch Jack Cravel. Beautiful fish. Let's see if we can revive him now. Let's get him revived. Come on buddy, breathe. That's why I didn't want you fighting me till uh, till the end. There you go. Now you're getting better. Now you're getting with it. You go on your own. Awesome. That salvaged a one fish trip. Unbelievable. Look, <laughs> barely got him in, I tell you. Unbelievable. 
Tell you what, that's why I love fishing. Figured I'd come out here and try to pick me a couple specks, a couple reds. And you never know what the frick is under the surface of that water. He wasn't feeding, chasing mullet or nothing. It just was boom. And it was on. So on the day when I thought I had caught one 13 inch speckled trout and was going to go home, I catch a monster Jack Gravel from the bank. All right, well, I'm leaving Port Sulphur on the March 6th. I had a couple hours to make the evening trip in uh, 62 degrees. Really wasn't much of a bite, but it was a high tide. I caught one trout after about an hour and 15 minutes, so I said, you know what, I'm going to release it. I'm not keeping fish. Then a few minutes later, hooked into a 40-inch Jack Cravel. So that's insane from the bank. And... Uh, he almost spooled me. He made some massive runs and uh, <clears throat> he was on a little Berkeley swim shaft with a little wire hook. He almost straightened it out. Uh, everything that could have gone wrong almost did. Ended up landing him, got a 40 inch measurement and uh, revived him and off he swam. So that's a fantastic trip by any account. So till the next video, get out there and go fishing.